last day before occupancy. We are not going to be done with the house, and I don't know if that will pass occupancy. We haven't had time to do any exterior work. But we're looking a lot more organized in our storage room. May not seem like it, but trust me, even be able to sit a chair in here is massively more organized. Now entering our back porch area. And we're looking sort of cleaned up in here. Got our guest seating leaning against the wall here. I don't think I showed you. We got a stairwell light. Look how cute that is. I'm going to get a light for this back porch area also. Supplies are dwindling. That means they're going into the house. We're feeling pretty happy. Okay, we have a kitchen door. It is um, hung, but we need to trim it out and we got some kitchen flooring looking amazing we're ready for baseboard hopefully that will go down today and yes we have countertops butcher block it's covered with a uh, cardboard we need to get that oiled today I have a special this stuff Howard butcher block conditioner still need to hang the door in the pantry we did trim out the door here dad did that yesterday Abby has this room sanded, so we are ready for paint. Um, we'll just work around the saw. Such a small house, we are constantly, constantly moving things. There's some light fixtures. Got my work crocs. This room's just gonna get carpeting. And we need to put some baseboard down in there. And the living room. Um, that's our temporary curtain. We actually have blinds to put up on the windows that will be free of construction dust. We need to cut in the color over here. Um, we're not gonna mess with that. Tomorrow's inspector won't care about our paint job but generally living room is done as far as what we need to do to get her in the house and this is her bedroom and I think we're just gonna leave the hardwood floors painted they're not hardwood pine floors um, so we had painted half of them with pills a couple weeks ago. So now we need to move everything out, paint the rest of the floors. That's an old patch. I don't have time to pull it off and fix it right now, but that'll be a future weekend project at Abby's house, I'm sure. We have the, those are cabinet doors there. This is the pantry door. Mom painted it yesterday. And we got the door hung for the closet. And have the trim on the exterior there. This wall is ready to sand and paint. And the bathroom has had a big upgrade since I showed it to anybody on YouTube. We had the tub, we had the toilet, and now we have vanity is in there. Um, we don't have the overhead lighting yet, 
so there's a lamp in here and the chimney we went ahead and painted it was shedding um, a lot of dust so we painted it to just hold it in that's a hole that we patched with new brick and some mortar and that will get painted today and here's the other side we're gonna put a little shelving section here and we need to paint that plugged hole also we have a vent in the floor right by the toilet it is very cool when you use the bathroom and for now we're painting the floor leveler a porch gray I think but we're gonna get the doors and drawers put in today we're gonna get a light we're gonna get ceiling fan I need to do something to smooth out the ceiling so that we can paint it and the closet is kind of the same deal we have the door and it's in mud it needs to be a little bit more mud work than sand than paint and I'm going to put the floor in here I'm hoping the same floor we did in the kitchen and living room will work in here it likes level floors and these are not exactly level but it's a small space so I'm thinking I can make it work and we need to trim out the windows. A lot of trim, a lot of sanding, a lot of painting, a little bit of mudding. And I still haven't fixed my crown molding. I probably will not get to that today. And here's our door that does need to be trimmed in. And I should close it to mostly hold in our air conditioning. Got a big day ahead of us. Hopefully we have a house to move into this weekend.